I come from a family of, of people that are very artistically driven. My grandmother, my mother's mother, uh, was a painter, and my mother is actually a poet. I've always been very creative, but I wasn't exactly sure what my outlet was. I think the first time I picked up a spoon or, or, or a pair of tongs, and I took food and I put it onto a plate, I realized that that was, that was the art. That was the way it was going to come out. I believe that tradition is extremely important and in all respects, not just in cooking. If you want to be an innovator, if you want to be a person who, who modernizes and changes things and grows them, that you can't be that unless you have a very firmly rooted appreciation for what came before you. What all did you make for dinner tonight, Granny? Yeah, and the one dish hog dinner. My Granny, she let me help her cook. You know, when I was thinking about making your, your one dish hog dinner, I, I kept thinking that I didn't want to change it too much because I didn't want it to be different. I wanted it to be like yours, but just a little bit different. She got the recipe from her mom. She made it. But no one else ever made that. And, and I loved that idea of creation, of, of making something your own. I try to always think about a dish having an element of familiarity, but simultaneously building in something that they've never seen before. That process of sending them away with a memory is the same thing that happens to you growing up. The only way to make those lasting memories once you're an adult is to transcend that border between something that they know and something that they've never seen before.